my watch is still on the old time. <laughs> the old time. First full day of of daylight savings time, but yeah, <laughs> I made it. I made it here on time good anyway. Good job. Uh, Northern Adirondack Central School. It's the 11th day of March, 2019, and we're here to talk about something that's happening in the last three days of March, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Uh, something to do with a giant peach. Is one of you named James? No, I am not James. I am Rebecca Dupree, high school art teacher. And? I'm Jennifer Hutchins. I'm an art teacher as well, right, high school. So, so who's James? I heard of James and the Giant Peach. James and the Giant Peach. He's actually one of our seventh grade uh, middle school students, and he is playing James. His name is Michael, and you'll get to talk to him soon. All right. And this is uh, an annual event. Uh, so what, what, what's the official title, the school play or oh, musical? We, no, we are NAC Drama Club. Okay. We don't do the musical, we do plays. Which is a play, okay. Yep, we try to do family-friendly entertainment so we can have the elementary come over. So we do plays like we did Alice in Wonderland one year. This year we are doing James and the Giant Peach. Okay, I know the movie came out a few years back, but I have to admit I didn't see it. I so, suppose both of you saw it right away, right? I, I was 14 when it came out, so yes. Yeah, I was rather young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how long ago did the movie come out? Oh gosh, in the 90s? 90s? At least. In the yeah. 90s. I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so how long ago the movie? How long ago were you 14? I am 36 for the record. Oh, right. But off the record. Off the record. <laughs> He's 23. <laughs> and you say you've been on Hometown Cable before. Yeah. So you were about this high. This high for <laughs> Bye Bye Birdie. NCCS did it back in the 90s. And I was chorus girl number 14. It was a very big part. A lot of leg kicking. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, have you ever been on Hometown Cable? I Gator? haven't. Oh. I'm from Malone. And Malone right. I, I did musicals there, but I haven't had the chance to go in. Yeah. Right. So. So welcome to the big time. Yeah, <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs> okay, so you are the co-directors? Yes. Yep. yes. Right, so. Co-everything. Co-everything. <laughs> Costumes, set design, What happens when a co-director and another co-director disagree? We what? don't. We you don't. <laughs> we, we agree on that. Yeah, we yeah. teach together. We share a classroom together. <laughs> we do everything you know, together. Everything. Oh, so yeah. both we get, a, we get yeah. along really well. Yes. Yes, definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, did one of your students do this? Yeah, yeah. Um, many several. students. One of our classes um, and some other classes actually pitched in to help do this. Yes, we're still in the working phases of it, but it's coming. Right. It's coming along. Your friend here. So <laughs> that, that tripod doesn't know that you <laughs> Come back a little bit. Try and showing the peach off. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, show the big peach. All right, so I, what is James and the Joint Peach all about? It is about a young boy whose parents die tragically by rhinoceros, and he is <laughs> sent to live with his two mean aunts, and he is given mysterious magical worms, and he drops them, unfortunately, but then they seep down into the tree's roots, and a magical giant peach grows. And I don't want to give away the rest of it, because... <laughs> Other things. Yeah. How could you improve on that? I, mean. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what made you decide on this one? <laughs> Mainly we like to do, um, as I said before, we like to do family-friendly plays because we like to have, you know, entertainment for everybody. And our elementary comes over and they see it. And it's a popular book also that is read fourth grade level. So it's nice to have the kids be able to relate to something and see something. Yeah. So this is something they're, they're all familiar with, I imagine. Yes, so. yes. Some of them have read the book when they were younger and see, have seen the movie. We've watched the movie with them, so that way they get a good background on what the story's about. Okay. And uh, tickets, are they available ahead of time? No, we sell tickets at the door that night. Okay. Yep. $10 for general, general admission, $5 for children under 10. 10. Yep. Not 10, uh, under, no, 10. under 10. Under 10, $5. Everybody okay. else, 10. 10 over? Yeah. Yes. No senior discount? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, three performances? Yes. We're three. doing a performance on the 29th at 7 o'clock, um, 29th of March, and mm -hmm. then on the 30th of March at 7 o'clock, and then on the 31st of March at 1 o'clock. That would be the Sunday? Yes. All right. And uh, about how long is the, is the play? Oh, about an hour. A little bit more than an hour. 
So is there an intermission? Yes, there, yes. Will, be an intermission. there will be an intermission. Yep. Okay. So it'll be longer than an hour with the intermission. How many students involved? We have over 60 students involved in this entire production. <laughs> so it's quite the undertaking it with is. just the two of us. <laughs> we do everything. Everything we do is student run. So the mu all the musicians are students. All the puppets that we built, and we've built over 25 puppets for this play. That's all student built. The music, the sound, the makeup, costuming, everything is done by the students that attend NAC. The set design. S set design, we everything. build it. We have kids in there, painting, power tools, chicken wire, everything. So <laughs> it's a very, it's awesome to see what teenagers can do when given the ability. And the challenge. And the yeah. challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, on stage, how many? Oh gosh, uh, maybe 40. 50, yep. 40 to 50 kids. There's a lot of ensemble parts. There's a lot of main roles. We have, this is a very um, role heavy play. Okay, so, yeah. well, if I'm gonna talk to some of them, I better <laughs> oh, let yeah. you two get out of here. Wonderful, <laughs> great, well thank Anything you. Anything else that you should tell me though? No. That you've thought all weekend, I can't forget to tell. It's a great show. Yes, it's, it's going show. to be fantastic. Come and see it, it's going to be amazing. The kids have done a great job and we're and excited to see them put Even if you don't have a student in it, you can still come. Yes, yes. most definitely. Definitely, definitely. come definitely. see it. It's a lot of fun. All right, so. James and the Joint Peach. Thanks, lady. Thank, Thank you. you. All righty, come up next, we'll have some of the students. All right, we have three of the cast members and we'll start with you. Hi. What's your name? Michael Dixon. Dixon? Yeah. All right, and uh, you got a part in this, you, this play? Yes, I am James. You're James, I said Michael. <clears throat> no, my name is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> James, okay, James and the Joint Peach, and does James have a last name? Uh, yes, James Trotter. James Trotter, all right, and who are you? <clears throat> I'm Aunt Spiker in the play. And who are you in the real world? Gabrielle Jarvis. Gabrielle Jarvis, all right, so you're one of the wicked, evil ants? Yeah. All right, why'd they choose you to be a wicked, evil person? Because I got five younger siblings at home sometimes. <laughs> it's going to be nasty, she meant to say, right? Yeah. <laughs> and are you evil also? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm Lillian Uden, and I'm Aunt Sponge in the play. Aunt Sponge. <laughs> and her sister. Okay. <clears throat> What's a sponge? What's the kind of a name is that for a person? I'm not sure. You're not sure? She absorbs all the meanness. Oh, I see. Okay. So why do people take this little orphan boy in if you're going to be so mean to him? He's our sibling. I mean, we got to take the child in. You got to take him. You rescued him. How is that? No, we got stuck with him. It stuck with him. Oh, huh. <clears throat> so were you happy when you first went to live with your aunts? Were you looking forward to it at the time? Uh, no. No? You knew there was going to be trouble? Yeah. Yeah. They were always mean. Now, what was it? A rhinoceros that... Uh, yes. Uh, how did that happen? Well, they were uh, going to London, and then a rhinoceros escaped from the zoo, and they murdered them. Oh my gosh! Another it's a very sad story. Another rhinoceros crime. We've got to, you know, we've got to cut down on those rhinoceros. Is it if there's more than one rhinoceros? Is it rhinoceri or is it rhinoceroses? No, or? just one rhinoceros. Uh, but if you have two, I mean, what, how do you count two? What? I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I am not the smartest, smartest kid. Oh, well, obviously, if you go to go live with these guys. <laughs> now you must know what a uh, two uh, rhinoceroses are, right? Not really. Not really. No, no. I'm not good with animals. So you'd no. have to ask somebody who knows a lot about them. Like a sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what, what was your name in the play again? Aunt Spiker. Spiker. Okay. <laughs> That's a strange name, also. Yeah, but. <clears throat> no, is, that, is your is your name Trotter too? Are you Trotters or you got last no, names? No, idea. We have None no clue what our no, last names are. No, have Must names. have got amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your whole purpose in this uh, play is to make life miserable for James? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so are you enjoying that? A little bit. Right. <laughs> How about you? Are you enjoying making life miserable for this poor fella? I mean, in the play I am, but I'm not a mean person. <laughs> oh, okay. It's totally out of character for you, unlike she admits that she, yeah. she likes being mean here, right? Yeah, it's a, you kind of admitted that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. What grade are you in? Ninth. All right, and? Tenth. And? Seventh. Seventh. All right, so this would be your first one here, your first first performance. Here. Uh yeah, it is. It's your second one. No, well I was I was in here last year but Oh, it's a sixth grader. Okay, it's middle school, so that's right. I was not in the play. Oh, what were you? I, I was just like there helping just out. <laughs> well, that's vacation. important. Yeah. Huh? You want a vacation. You want a vacation? What does yeah. that mean? Well, so uh 
when I joined, they gave me like a minor part, and so I went home and told my parents what day the play were, the play was, and they said, uh, "Well, that's where we're going on vacation." <laughs> so you went on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna do the play. <laughs> this year they're sticking around though. Yes. They're actually gonna come and watch you. Yeah. All right. So what are you gonna do next year after you've been James and James in the Joint Beach? Everything else is gonna be downhill from now on. No, I'm gonna join next year too. Okay, but I mean, you're, you're a star this year. With, I'm not gonna try to do the star again. I'm gonna try oh, to give okay. it to other people. Share the wealth, right? Yeah. All right. Have you been in these before, tenth grader? Yes, I have. And how many? I was in the Night at the Wax Museum and Alice at Wonderland. Alice at Wonderland, not to be confused with Alice <laughs> in Wonderland. It's the future version of Alice in Wonderland, basically. Oh, okay. And how about you? Um, so I was in Night at the Wax Museum, Alice at Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland, and Willy Wonka. No, yeah, Willy Wonka, and then. In the Peach Factory. Sure. And um, <laughs> High School Musical. Oh, so you were a real veteran there. You... Yeah. Yeah. So you must enjoy this. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so you've been working your way up to being evil. I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was evil last year too. Were you? <laughs> yeah. I was an ant last year too. An evil ant. What is it with ants? So they're all evil. I don't know. It's not like us uncles. Uncles are great, right? Uncles are great. Yeah. <laughs> right from James, you heard it. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to tell us? I got 47 people to talk to tonight. Well, I made this peach. You made that peach. I put this up. The whole, oh, you put it up. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, we painted it and put it up. Uh, joint effort, but that's uh, and, uh, it's a joint effort and a giant effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little play on words. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people put a lot of work into this I play. And it's really fun for a bunch of people in all ages to come together and just work creatively. Yeah, so you're hoping for a big turnout, right? Yeah. Everybody um, and Cherubusco and Lion Mountain and Ellen Well, Barman, everybody who can come should come. It's even really... Even Moors and yeah. Shazy and so on, right? Yeah, it's a great thing to come see, even though there may be some mess-ups every once in a while. But it's still kind of fun just to relax and get along with your friends. You make a lot of good friends and... Have a lot of nice people around you. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the all the time you spend rehearsing is the, one of the best times you have, right? Yeah. Plus you get to make fun of each other and laugh <laughs> when you make mistakes like those blooper things on TV. <laughs> <laughs> on the cutting room floor, are you gonna make any mistakes? Uh, definitely. Oh yeah. All right. We're yeah. looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you guys, well, go ahead. You got something to say? No. No. What no. she said. Yeah. What she said? Just okay. come because we put a lot of effort into this. All right. How about Sponge? You got anything to say, Sponge? No. no? You're going to remain a Sponge after the play is done, or are you going to change your name again? I'll change my name again. <laughs> Good idea. I like Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than Sponge, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Thank you. Good right. luck. All right. Three of the stars of James and the Giant Peach at Northern Adirondack. And in the blink of an eye, we have three more of the stars of James and the Giant Peach. Who are you? Nadia Potts. Nadia Potts. And who are you in the play? I am the TV reporter. The TV reporter. All right. Any particular channel you work for? No. No? <laughs> Not right now. Just, just, a, just a TV reporter. Yeah. All right. And you? I'm Zoe McGoon. And and who, who are you in the, in the play? I keep wanting to say a musical, but it's not a musical. I'm a shark. You're a shark. <clears throat> How come? <laughs> because I have good shark abilities. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have to wear a big uh, shark costume? Or? Yeah. <clears throat> are you only in the water or are you on a land shark or what? Just in the water. Just in the water. Is there water on the stage or is it just kind of like this? background I see behind you here. Is this make believe water? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, and you? I'm Cora Barnaby and I'm playing the uh, tour guide. Tour guide? What's the tour guide doing in all this? I am introducing you to the play. Oh, okay. So you're speaking throughout? Um, no. I'm just going to be there to introduce James and everything. That's it? You're yeah. done? And you can go home? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> go home for a couple of an hour and come back and take a bow and that's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And as a tour guide, you could probably even read your lines, right? If mm -hmm. you had to? Yeah. Instead of memorizing them? Uh, I still have to memorize them, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So have you been in these before, Cor? Yes, I have. How many? Um, ooh. Don't take your shoes off to count now. I know. <laughs> um, probably about five. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. What grade are you in? I'm in 11th. Yeah, 11th grade. All right. So you've got at least one more of these in you. Yeah, definitely. Unless you're in the... the uh, 
the fall musical too, because there's a fall musical. And yeah, I'll probably be in that. <laughs> and maybe this next, year, whatever they're doing here next year. So is it the, I know it's different to uh, uh, people putting it on as far as the adults, but as far as, the, is it the same group or what, who does it in the fall and who does it now? Um, I know it's a drama club now, well, who, what's the fall group called? Um, that was kind of just of get together for whoever wanted to do it. <laughs> Cat's call, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, there wasn't any Pacific group that was doing it. Okay, but they will, they'll probably be back next year. Yeah. And how about you, you uh, great? 11, or I mean 10th. <laughs> <laughs> the questions get easier as we go along, you know. So. <laughs> and have you been in these before? No. Never, what took you so long? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, people just waiting for that shark roll. Of, yeah. Yeah. You said, oh, that's me. That's <laughs> that's what I've always dreamt. Does a shark talk or just chase people around? Just chase. You haven't got any lions to learn? No. Nope. Oh. That's easy then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Are you in it a lot? Are you doing a lot of chasing? Yeah. <clears throat> you get to eat anybody or? No. No? No. Uh, I know. I'm going to ask if you catch anybody, but if she catches anybody, she won't be eating them, so don't. Don't shy away with the kids, right? Yeah. Uh, so, and you, you said you're a reporter? Yeah, I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade, and have you been in these before? I was on set crew for the past two years. Okay, that's a lot of work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You said, if I'm gonna put all that work in this year, I'm gonna go up and take a bow then, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, who, uh, who do you report? To? Are you reporting throughout or here and there? or How, how often are you gonna be out there? I'm just in the beginning part. The beginning? And then I'm just done for that. It's just like introducing the Pete's, so. The Pete's? The Pete's. <laughs> Who are the Peets? No, the Peets. Like, the Peets. <laughs> the Peach? Oh, the Peach. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, is there a giant Peach in the... <clears throat> is there just a person in that giant Peach? Or is it just... No. Well, it just becomes a giant Peach. Or can you... They're, they're going to give it away here. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Okay. Give it away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't give it away. Okay. Want to save the magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Save yeah. the magic. As if there's anybody in the world who hasn't seen this movie. I mean, everybody has yeah. seen it. I mean, except me. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I'm going to go home tonight and watch it, though, just, just so I won't have to come on the 29th, 30th. And 30th. I should come anyway, though. Right? Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Just kidding. <laughs> Bring your friends and relatives and everybody else. So you guys aren't able to sell tickets because the tickets are only going to be available at the door, I've heard. Is that true? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not too sure on that. Yeah, well, you can get some people promised to come at least. Yes. You can't get an actual ticket in your hand. Anything else we should know about any of you folks that I have not smart enough to ask you? No? I think we're good. You're good? Oh, they're very good. See that? She, she admits they're good. Are you, are you all good? Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the, the not narrator, you're the? I'm the tour guide. Tour guide. Tour guide. Shark and TV reporter. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Thanks, girls. So we're moving along with four people this time. They're challenging me here. Your name? Chelsea. Chelsea who? Gay. Chelsea Gay. And you are what in the play? Um, ensemble. Uh, ensemble? Mm -hmm. All right. And? I'm Scotland LeClaire, and I'm the little girl. And uh, spelling champion? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Are you a spelling champion? Mm, I used to be. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm Parker Brasser, and I'm the old man. The old man? I'm the leathery old man. Oh. Would you be older than I am in this? Uh, probably. <laughs> say, yeah, good, good answer, because if you're younger than me, and it's still an old man. Yeah. <laughs> I took it personally. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Thank you. And? Aiden St. Andrew. And what are you in here? I am the shark. I am... The shark. I already talked to the shark. I'm sorry if your part's been taken. <laughs> are there two sharks? There's three. Three sharks. Okay. You are a shark, then, not the shark. I am the hot dog seller. I don't move away too much there. Or you're leaning here. You'll be off the camera. The tripod doesn't know if you move. You're and... Do you bite people? The audience. <laughs> You're part of the audience? Too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you been in these before? Yeah. Yeah? What grade are you in? Eighth. 
That's great. You're going to do this again next year? Probably. Probably. All right. A definite probably right there. How about you? What grade are you in first? I'm in 11th grade. All right. You've been on these before? Yep. This is my fourth production. Fourth production. So you're getting used to this here. Yep. This is not my first rodeo. Uh, <laughs> not a rodeo. Well, <laughs> you're going to be surprised when you show up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've got to wear... cowboy boots Yeah, on here, yeah. I got a pair, I mean. <laughs> you wear them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you've done this before. Mm -hmm. uh, what parts have you had before? Uh, two years ago, I was one of the cards when we did uh, Alice in Wonderland. Um, the year after that, I was in, I was King Henry VIII in Night at the Wax Museum that we did. Um, and this year we did a musical, high school musical, uh -huh. and I was a character named Zeke. Uh -huh. And then now I'm the old man. All right, so you've gone from Zeke to being an old man. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I've gone to be an old man too. <laughs> what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade. So that's about the youngest grade that's in this, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so you haven't been in any of these before? Then. No, no, I haven't. I think you might come back next year? Yes. You think so? So your first one, do you have to do any spelling in this? No. no. <laughs> Parker can help you. If you <laughs> Is he, was he your idol that you uh, said, someday I want to be like Parker? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're very honest. <laughs> your mother's a good singer, too. Yeah. Your father not so. He's, not really He's not even close. <laughs> And you? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. And how many of these have you done? Um, this is going to be my third one. Third one. Were you in the fall musical? No? No. I was no. going to, but I didn't end up doing it. Okay. Any uh, memorable roles that we should remember you from? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> now, this isn't a musical, so the ensemble doesn't dance or anything. What, uh, what does the ensemble do? Just kind of holler and cheer and um, throw I'm peaches? Or? I'm a wave and a wave? Yeah, and part of the, like the crowd. <laughs> You're part of the crowd. Are you going to be on stage or in front of the crowd or where are you going to be? On stage. But uh, part of the crowd, like oh, all the crowd. On not stage. Not the audience, but the crowd. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, do we get a lot of waves or just just when the sharks are in town or what? Uh, when the ple peaches float floating. The peach floating. That big yeah. peach is going to float. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is the shark uh -huh. going to attack it? Mm -hmm. Sharks don't eat peaches, so I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> You've all seen the movie, I hope. Yeah. No, I read the book. Read the book? You seen the movie? Yeah. All right. Seen the movie? Yeah, seen the yeah. movie? No. Read the book? No. No, I'm ah. going to. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you can be replaced, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't have a very big part, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so when the, what's the dates? Uh, the last two days of March and the first day of April. Wrong. The la it's the last three days, March 29th, March 30th, okay. and 31st. <laughs> I've thought, been told four different dates. <laughs> I'm attention. telling you. He thought there was only 30 days in March. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> 29th, 30th, and 31st, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh -huh. All right, so study your calendar yep. and next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else I should ask you guys? No? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank All right. you. Next. Four more victims, and your name? Uh, Samantha Hart. Samantha Hart, and you are what? I am a sailor this year. A sailor this year. All right. You have a little sailor cap. And I don't know. You don't know yet? I haven't seen your costume yet. Not really. All right. And? Karina St. Andrew. And what are you in the play? I am also a sailor. A sailor. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, I just heard to just talk to some waves, so they're... And the talking waves and talking sharks is quite the, quite the town. And you? I'm Aubrey Pickren. Yes. And I am the captain of those sailors. The captain of the sailors, all right. <clears throat> are these your two best sailors? Or uh, they're the only solar they're sailors. The only sailors you could get? Yeah, tough, yeah. tough times, huh? Yeah. We only get paid and lagered. <laughs> <laughs> get paid in what? Lagered. Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't pay them. You don't pay them? No. Oh, good idea. <laughs> All right, yeah. and? Uh, I'm Lexi Roberts, and I'm an octopus and a policeman. Octopus and a policeman? Yeah. So, do you got a costume change, or does the policeman have eight arms? Uh, no. Uh, I get, like, a fun hat and some handcuffs, and the octopus, I just move the arms around, so... <laughs> When they talk about the long arm of the law, it's long eight arms with you, right? 
Well, no, actually, I only have I, four. I have another half of an oh. octopus. There's the two of you? Yes. You're half an octopus? Yeah. Oh, so I'd say quadrupus. Like They're quadrupus. Personalities. <laughs> um, so the two-headed octopus, or? No, it's only got like one head, and then there's a bunch, of, uh, not a bunch, eight legs, and I control like four, and the other person controls four, and Who's the we're head? working it out. Who's no the one's the head. No it's just head. a ball of <laughs> pool <noodles>. stuff. <laughs> pool noodles, I think, yeah. So you haven't seen the costume yet either, have you? No. Uh, so you'll have to get some time in that costume, so you won't go on stage for the first time, or yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to like flail my arms around. That's going to be so tough. <laughs> it comes easy to me. Yeah. All right, what grade are you in? Uh, tenth. Tenth grade, and you've done these before or not? I've never done a school production. Well, what have you done? I've done... Broadway? Two, yeah, yeah, totally. I've done two um, Adirondack regional uh -huh. play yeah. musicals. Mm -hmm. well, um, I did The Little Mermaid and Music Man. Okay. So you decided to lend your talents to your school this year, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. And you, what grade? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade? So it's going to be your first time. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get a speaking role since this is my first time, but I did. I did? All right. How many lines you got? 21. 20. Not that you counted them or anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> 21 words or 21 lines? Uh, lines. All right. Some of them long lines? or? I have a paragraph. <laughs> A pet one is that, does that count as one line? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, so you got a whole paragraph. Yeah. So you, you go do all your lines at once. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So would you tell me you were again? I was the captain of these oh, sailors. Oh, captain of these guys here. Yeah. So you think you're gonna keep them right through to the 29th, 30th, and 31st, or you're looking for other sailors here to? Uh, I think I would like some different ones, but uh, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> That's saying a lot for you guys, isn't it, here, huh? <laughs> yeah, we should throw her overboard. <laughs> you already did the play. <laughs> you can do that on the 31st. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you grade? Ninth. Ninth grade, and your experience is? Uh, this is my third production. Third All right. So you enjoy doing this? Yeah. All right. So you're telling all your friends and family to come and watch this and yeah. buy tickets and all that good stuff. It's going to be sold out all three days, you know. So if you're going to come, you get here early. Oh, yeah. And you? Um, I'm also in ninth grade, and this is my fourth production. What have you done in the past? Um, I've done Alice at Wonderland. I did Night at the Wax Museum last year, and then I did the musical this fall. Okay. All right. So you enjoy being a, a sailor? I enjoy drama club. <laughs> oh, you enjoy being a sailor? Maybe if you had a better captain, it would be helpful. Right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think of that, Cap? I'm very strict on them. <clears throat> now, your last name isn't Marvel, is it? Captain Marvel? No. Oh, okay. That movie just came out. I didn't see it yet. You haven't seen it yet? No. It's a blonde captain, so maybe Lexi's in it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get the movie and see. All right, anything else, guys, that I should uh, be asking you? Like I don't think so. Don't think so? All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, 29th, 30th, and 31st, right here at Northern Adirondack, James and the Joint Peach. It was challenging getting four people in, but now i got to try to get eight. The entire what crew? Set crew. Set crew. <laughs> You're lifting up the Joint Peach and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> You had any experience lifting peaches before? Not before this. No, not, not the first this. peach lifting, yeah. 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 What's your name? Douglas Roberts. Douglas Roberts. Did a good job this year. Yep. That basketball court. Uh, you were in the fall one, I recall, right? Yeah, it was a high school musical. Yeah. yeah. So what grade you in? Uh, senior, 12th grade. Senior, 12th grade. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Once you told me one, I knew the other. I knew yeah. <laughs> I've been around, you know. All right, I'll, go, I'll come back, so don't go away. Go don't move. All right, and you? Uh, Dolan Gilmore. I'm an 11th grader. 11th grader, all right. And what are you in this? You're set, set person? Yeah, set crew. And you, you've done any peach uh, This is the second production I've done set crew on. I did it um, for the high school musical. All right. So you have to show up every night, even though you're on yeah. stage? <laughs> yeah, really? Uh, what do you do this now when the... Um, for set crew when there's no lines to be done, what do you, what do you do? Just 
Stay backstage. Stay backstage? Yeah. Right. What's your name? Kelly Bright. And what grade are you in? Junior. Junior. Alright, don't go away. Alright, and? Emma Rabideau. Emma Rabideau. Is it your knees all bothering you? What is it? That's well, better. It's better. A little better. Better? Yeah. All right. Take care of it. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Stop being a kamikaze out there. <laughs> diving into stuff. Can't help it. <laughs> Need you. Yeah. Hey, stop it. I'm sorry. I <laughs> help it. Yeah, I'm playing a good, trying to be a good player. <laughs> All right. So, what if you're a set person? Yep. You, set manager. You're doing manager? Yeah. You're, this, is, this is your crew here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys all take orders from her and say yes ma'am and all that good stuff? Much. Yeah, she's a tough boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. For some people, do a thousand. <laughs> all right, so we'll come back. And? Me and Manette. Me and Manette. All right, I don't want to step in. I don't know where that camera is anymore. And what grade? Six. Sixth grade? Yeah. So this is the first time on the set? Yeah. All right, she's a tough boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mean sometimes. Yeah. She's going to get even meaner when the, it's the 29th, 30th, and 31st. So yeah. we ain't seen nothing yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> and? Amber Merkay. And? Uh, this is my first year. And what grade? Ninth grade. Ninth grade. All right. So, yeah. See some seagulls or just, just, go, just go with it. Just, uh, just things, go with it. Off camera that we don't even want to talk about, right? Yeah, just go with it. Just. <laughs> right. And Andrew. Second time being backstage. Second time being backstage. Have you ever been on stage? No. No. There's one leaving in half an hour. Wells Fargo stage. Mm -hmm. An old cowboys joke. Oh. You ought to be on stage. There's one leaving and leaving town in half an hour. It's an old joke. You mm -hmm. guess you're not old enough to know that joke. I'm too shy. <laughs> You looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah. And you did you uh, what'd you do in the past as far as set work? Um, I've only done set work. I've been on night at the Wax Museum and high school musical. So what have you done set work? What you run in and out and all yeah, that? Yeah, when there's blackouts we'll move like props and stuff out. It takes a lot of room backstage to hold all that stuff, doesn't it? Yes. And you it haven't does. got all your your set stuff yet, so you won't even know until a couple days before, but uh, yeah, it's very unorganized so far. So far. So far. The captain will, will straighten you up. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be really mean. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna hate her. She's gonna be like, no. Mutiny, mutiny on Joy and Peach night. So this is your first time helping out. Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking to any of these to guide you? Or any of these you yep. look at and say, I'm gonna do what that person does. Yeah. yeah. yeah who, who's your hero? Her? Her? Oh, good answer. <laughs> yeah. She'll find you an easy job now. All right. <laughs> so you being the leader now, you must have been on these before then. Yeah. So how would you get to be? Shadowed last year, our stage yeah. manager. Who was that? Terry Courtney. Who? Terry Courtney. Terry Courtney. It sounds like two first names. Yeah. <laughs> or two last names. I don't know. People have last names are Terry also. Yeah. <laughs> So you feel you're up to it here? Yeah. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Don't get hurt. I'm going to try not to. All right, let them do the heavy lifting. I will. <laughs> <laughs> so you enjoy the working for her? Yeah. Yeah? Good answer. She's sitting right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you've worked in these before, you said? No. Nope. No, nope, that's your first time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, so you're uh, anxious for that first night. Do you think you're going to know okay. more in the third night, the third, uh, third afternoon than you do in the first night? Probably not. Probably not. No. <laughs> All right, and you, you've done this before, you said? Yeah, this is the second production I've been in. Okay. Um, so I kind of do the same, I'm doing the same thing I did last time. So help build the set, and now we move the props around stage. Yeah, so. 
uh, they said that everything was done by students here. It's all student, uh, student uh, organized. Yeah. So did you want to be on stage this time? Or you didn't make the cut or what happened here? I don't, uh, don't want to get too personal with you no, here. No, no, I didn't try out for nothing. I didn't uh, try out for nothing. I had basketball going on, so I didn't really yeah. have any time. So I just figured I'd just help out with stage. Ah, so so kind of <laughs> roped into it, you know. Well, it helps you see your girlfriend a little more than yeah, just, you'd be hanging around here anyway, so you might as well. Be. Exactly. I also do something productive. <laughs> okay, anything else I should ask you guys? No? Well, thank you very much. Right. I'll be watching for you, though. Okay. All right, put a little number on each one of you. Yeah, <laughs> neon, something neon, yeah. I like that long walk back to the camera here. All right, moving right along. We've got eight again. We had eight last time. We've got eight more. And your name? I guess they're not going to have any luck with that. One. I'm silly bird. What's your name? Natalia. Natalia who? Chinchia. Spell that? C-H-I-N-C-H-I-L-L-A. Good. good eh? <laughs> Did it take you a long time to learn how to spend that? Yeah. Chinchilla? Is Chinchilla? With, uh, Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Okay. I, I got. Uh, I got to go get my microphone cord here. Don't go away. It's almost like a live production here. Come on through. Pay no attention. <laughs> Can't slow down the paid people here. She's getting paid to. Does the bird have a name? Tell them apart. Back. Don't go away. Get that bird out of your face there. Come on. Your name? Leanne Rabidou. Leanne Rabidou. I have a good memory, but it's very short. That's Elizabeth? Yep. All right. Uh, they're all a little different, right? Yeah, they're all a little different. Even I could tell them apart. <laughs> yeah, like, I can realize some seagulls that have specific names. Like, sometimes it goes, like, by the way their head or by their body structure. And mm -hmm. some of them have, like, mis But they're like, we can still fly. <laughs> they can still fly, of course. Yeah. They're very talented. Did yep. you tell me you were in 11th grade? And yeah. You've done how many of these? Uh, there's about 10, 10 total at least. No, no, I mean. Don't, don't knock Thank the cord you. out. Right. Got a <laughs> training. Run, go outdoors and run in the snow. <laughs> hey, softball players or what? What do you think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so you got this giant. You made help make ten of these. Yeah. And uh, are you using them now? What, what are they going to do? What do they do on the stage? Are you, you each going to hold one? Is that how it happens? Or? Yeah, each of us that uh, play a seagull bit, we have to hold the seagull up towards the bottom of the pole. Uh -huh. And then when we, when, she's, when the character's on stage, like the bugs and Jane say a certain word, we, we all have to go out like in a line. 
and on certain bits, some of us would be in front while the others are in the back, and we have to move the seagulls up and down to make it seem like they're flying. Uh -huh. And their job is to like make these nooses from rope and try and catch them, so that way they can actually have the seagulls pull the peach and everything. <laughs> so these seagulls are going to pull that giant peach. Somewhat, yeah. We're trying to make almost like an illusion kind of thing. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's Elizabeth. And, and who's you, who you got in there again? Nemo. <laughs> Nemo, yeah, Nemo, the big fish here. Have you done anything? Big role last year. Um, I was an old lady in Night at the Wax Museum. You're an old lady? Mm-hmm. Now, so are you people in costume on the stage? Are you hidden or we just see the, the birds or what, how does that work? We kind of dress in black so that way we blend in with the back of the stage, yeah. How about your faces? Your face is going to show or are you going to have to wear a ski mask or what? We just like, our faces are going to show, yeah, kind of. <laughs> have to wear makeup? Oh, okay. Because we have other parts. Yeah, what? We have other parts too other part. to oh, wear. Are you all mm -hmm. other things besides the seagull? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Quickly, what are you besides the seagull? I'm also a tourist and playing some of the kids' parts as well, where they go across the stage and listen to James tell his story. Oh, okay. And you? Child one. A child one? That's, a, that's child number one? Is that? Yeah. Child that's <laughs> basically it. Child number one, all right. And you? I'm a musician and a chess player. A musician and a chess player. What music, musical instrument do you play? Um, I do percussion regularly, so they're having me do the wood block for one of the rhythm parts. Uh-huh. All right, have you done any of these before? Yeah, I did one last year, and I was a pirate. A uh, pirate. And now you're a, a seagull. <laughs> How was your R? Was it a good part? Good. Uh, R. Let's hear your R. No. <laughs> no, you want to do an R? No? no. Can you do an R? No. Oh. Have you ever been a pirate? No. No? I've been a poet, a pirate. To, I can't remember that song. It's an old song. <laughs> All right, so can you do any other parts besides uh, being a bird? I'm a chess player. And chess player, uh huh? I, um, I'm in like the very end of where we're doing like a parade yeah, kind of thing. All kids again at the end? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So I have no lines then. Just uh, get out there and have fun and wave your birds around. <laughs> so you practice waving your birds? Yeah. Can you do me a we'll, we'll close this. There we go. Just a, a preview of what? There we go. Thank you, folks. All right, the softball players continue to run through here. So we got five folks this time. And hopefully the camera is going to stay put this time because I think I mixed the girl in this end last time. I think that's not awful if I would have missed you. Huh? What's your name? Uh, I'm Kate. Who? I'm Kate. Kate who? LaPointe. LaPointe? Right, speak up. And you play what in the musical? Um, I'm a seagull and a fish. A seagull and a fish. Mm. The same, not the same time, though. No. Oh, okay. All right. We'll move it back. And you? I'm Trinity Rodriguez. And what are you? I'm a tourist and a seagull. Oh, a little lower the mic here. They're just softball players. They couldn't jump over that. There. <laughs> uh, you're a what in a seagull? A tourist. A tourist and a seagull. So you're the fish and a seagull, you're a tourist and a seagull. Okay. So you get your own little bird to mm -hmm. to a ten, I think. And you? I'm Lily in the Valley. I am the costume designer for this mess. Costume designer. Mm -hmm. Alright, so do you have to look at the movie and say We did a little of looking at the movie, we did a little of just what needs to be done with this character what would be best for what else is going on like in terms of color scheme and fit and stuff all right so do you have to actually do any sewing or yes right now i'm ripping apart a whole dress with a seam ripper to add three inches to each side uh-huh right now yeah right now as you're standing here mm -hmm. amazing i, I can't even tell you're doing it that's mm -hmm. great 
You're very talented. I am. <laughs> and I'm Taylor Mick, and I'm doing the so uh, sound and lighting for it. Sound and lighting. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of work. Here. Yeah, I had Miss Mario to help me, too. Oh. Yeah. Who's helping who? Are you helping her, or she's helping you? It's a team effort. Team effort. <laughs> Considering she's not going to be here for the dress rehearsal. Uh-oh. So you got sound all the time. You got lighting. Is it, is it yeah. Times when you got to be changing the, su the sound. And, yep. And doing the lights at the same time. For our dress rehearsal is, but um, on opening nights, Miss Morrow will be up there with me. Okay. She'd better be here. <laughs> and you? I'm Tyler Houston, and I <laughs> was. I'm stage crew, uh, set builder, <laughs> and set designer. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> set designer. Yep, builder and I'm stage crew. All right, set designers, so you've helped to uh, yeah, the design some of this the stuff? The peach. Did you draw, help draw the peach? Uh, no, I'm not artsy. I built the big peach in there, uh, helped with the boat uh, alongside with Mr. Gilmore. All right, so a giant, there is a giant peach out there. There is a very big peach. Is it wooden or what is it? It's a um, combination of wood and chicken wire. Wood and chicken wire. Yep. That's my favorite flavor when it comes to peaches. I've got to lower the mic again here. We've got another jumper. Here we go. Look at her leap over that cord. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anything else I should ask you? I don't think so. You don't think so? All right. No. I heard you guys talking. No talking behind my back here. Now. Secrets don't make friends. Yes, yes, <laughs> I have that now. And what have you done in the past? Um, I've done High School Musical and uh, Alice in Wonderland and Night at the Wax Museum. So you did sound and stuff? Um, like for the other ones, I just did backstage. Oh, okay. So it's your first time with the sound and lighting? High School Musical, I did the lighting. Oh, okay. Uh, and you? I did Night at the Wax Museum and Alice at Wonderland. You did uh, with the costumes or on stage or background? Or back, uh, I did on stage for both, but I also did backstage for both. So it's your first time? As a yeah. Uh, it's as much fun as you thought it would be? Yeah. <laughs> More fun than you thought mm -hmm. it would be? <laughs> <laughs> Able to still do your homework? Yep. All right, make sure. Homework first. Mm -hmm. All right, homework first, right? Yeah. Yeah, get your homework done yet? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> you don't even know if you have any homework. You don't care. You're here in, the, you're in Hollywood. You've hit the big time now, right? Yeah. So, what's your experience? Night at the Wax Museum. Night at the Wax Museum, what'd you do? On stage. On stage, what'd you do? Pirate. A pirate. Okay, a pirate, and now she's a. A fish and a... She's a fish. I'm a... <laughs> Just checking to see if you remember. Tourist and a seagull. <laughs> and you? I did Alice in Wonderland and the night at the Wax Museum. Yeah, what were you in Alice in Wonderland? That's got some strange characters too. Uh, you know? I was a flower. You were a flower? All right. So this is more rewarding? <laughs> All right, anything else any of you have to tell me? I did not believe so. All right, so May, May, May what? March. March 29th to the 31st. 29th, 30th, and 31st of March. Be here at Northern Adirondack. 771. That's the times. Thank you. All right, we're going to... I don't know why they said to save room. We're going to save room on that side. I don't understand that. So you people are about to be, do you know yet that you're going to be killed by a rhinoceros? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You heard? heard? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It's uh, very unfortunate. I don't think, are there any rhinoceroses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. Oh, my God. It is. Yeah. It really is. You hear a yeah. giant burp after, it's going to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, I that rhinos are vegan. <laughs> yeah, it's a little confusing. Yeah, but so get that right here. Move up a step here so you can get that rhinoceros right around there. You know. <laughs> All right. So what's your name um, in the real world? Maria Amadovar. Yeah, Amadovar. Okay. Yeah. And I'm Brody LaBear. Brody, Brody LaBear? Yep. Right. yep. And we're Mr. and Mrs. Trotter. So. Mr. and Mrs. Yep. Trotter. Yep. We're James's parents. You should have been Mr. and Mrs. Runner so you could get away from there, but <laughs> you can't not. trot away from a rhinoceros. Right? You know? Yeah, honestly. We have Probably to sprint away from him. Yeah, you should be sprinters. <laughs> he leaves me in the dust, and that's why we die. <laughs> What do you want? He just leaves me in the dust, and that's why I die. It's every man for himself. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Honestly, when, it's, when a rhinoceros is coming straight at you, you gotta, you gotta save your life. <laughs> well, it's that old story, you know. Uh, 
you know, two guys out in the woods, and they said, here comes the bear. So I haven't got to outrun the bear. I guess I've got to outrun you. Yeah. <laughs> that affects your wife. Because <laughs> once the bear gets one, he ain't going to chase the other one. So remember that. If you're ever out there in rhinoceros, trip the other person. And <laughs> Unless it's your wife. <laughs> Unless it's your wife. Uh, happy wife, happy wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> Although the life isn't going to last much longer, so. <laughs> yeah, don't go away. I'm going to come back. Now, rhinos don't eat people, right? They just kill them, right? No, they were just vegetarians. They're just vegetarians. We're, we're guessing that this rhino was, like, malnourished. He wasn't fed for a while. And then when he just saw these two very yummy-looking parents, they decided to just... It's an albino, too. It's a white, a white rhino, so that's... A it's very rare. What's hey. your name? Spencer Perrier. Spencer Perrier. All right. And? Samantha Hart. Samantha Hart. How come you got the back of the rhino? What? We decided that I was going to be the head. Yeah, I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> I'll be the back of the rhino. And now whenever yeah. we need to get up on stage, I'm like, where's my butt? <laughs> Is she referring to you? I guess. But, but only, only on but, stage. But, but you know, but, the reason yeah. I'm back here uh -huh. is so that I don't get ahead of her. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, painful. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean... <laughs> so, have you always dreamt of being a back of a rhino? Not really. No, it's just something that happened, huh? Yeah, just kind of happened, and now I'm a rhino, and now I kill people, I guess. Yeah. So. It's well, funny, because me and her are also um, a couple earlier on in the show, so it's like... We get to work together twice. Oh, so you're in And then later she abandons me for a sailor, so... Oh, but not, not as a rhino, though. No. no. <laughs> oh, okay. We stick together as a rhino. Oh, okay. All right. So the rhino doesn't... So you are on there earlier, so the rhino isn't out there right away to... No. To ...destroy these people. No. All right, so... Still hasn't escaped from the zoo yet. Oh, okay. And so what have you done in the past? that led you up to this important part? Um, I've, I'm part of the ensemble, so pretty much, like, whenever they're just like, okay, we need, like, seven people over here for this, I'm just like, I got nothing better to do with my life. Same here, yeah, we're both <laughs> ensemble, so. So you're part-time rhino and part-time uh, ensemble? And exactly. I'm also part-time wave. <laughs> part-time wave, <laughs> okay. All right, uh, so I know you've done these in the past. What have you, what um, have you done besides the last fall? Uh, well, we did do, like, last fall we did do the High School Musical. We were both ensemble. But I have, I, me personally, I haven't really done any of these in the past. I have done things like dance recitals, but never really um, drama. I, had, I've, I hadn't really get, gotten into that. Mm -hmm. Like, High School Musical kind of just pulled me into doing drama, so I think I'm going to stick with it through the years. So, as for her, she's been in it since seventh. Seventh, seventh yeah. time? Okay. No, since seventh grade. Oh, and you're now I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. So, like, why can't I do this math in my head? Two, two. Four, including High School Musical. And you're what, ninth grade? Um, yeah, ninth. I have to think about that. Yeah, I've remember what grade you're in. It's not easy for a rhino to remember what grade you're in. I've only been in there for like a quarter of the year. Oh, we've got more, more runners here. Oh, they turned around. You'd better run. Uh, they'd better run. Uh, I think it's us this time. We were scared of the rhino. This time. That, that would scare me away. Uh oh, the, the horn is. It's okay. Uh -oh. we, we just, he has Get popsicle them. sticks helping us <laughs> too. So. have to tape him up so he lasts through the 30 verse there. <laughs> So when this rhino attacks you, you, you trip her and run away. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're quite the guy. You yeah. yeah. must be proud, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were th yeah, we returned sort of as waves later in the show. Yeah, you roll a, you roll a yep, I rollerblade in the beginning. Yeah. So you have other parts in the... Yep. Yeah. But you'll yeah. be, you be out of your parents' costume. Yeah. <laughs> so whose yep. uh, sisters are these evil? Is it your sisters or his sisters? Who's... That's, that's, a, that's a good that's question. A really good I don't question. know. Never really you don't directly know? Said. I told Lily she was going to be my sister, so... Oh, so I guess they're your sisters then. Yeah. Okay. Unless they're actually... One of them's your sister and the other one's the other sister, and they just... 
them together. Could be. And they hate I don't each know. other. Could be. They hate each other yeah. besides <laughs> everybody else in the world. I mean, they yeah. are very different, so. Yeah. 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 Right. True. All True. Right, so, what have you done in the past? I have done Alice Out Wonderland, and well, you did that with me too, right? Yeah. yeah. We've been in a lot of musicals and plays and stuff. Um, we were we had lead roles in Night at the Wax Museum. Yep, Night at the Wax Museum. I did a thing for, it was one for the Dreamers. Um, me and my best friend Angela were leads for that. We did High School Musical earlier in the year. I was also a lead for that. And this year, like this play, I was just so tired. Because High School Musical, literally the week, like it was the weekend after auditions for this was. So I was like, I'm not getting a lead role this time. I was like, nope, I'll stick for something else. I'm so tired yeah, of musicals true. and plays. And true, so part. Yep, they stuck me with Miss Trotter. And it's kind of fun because <laughs> you get to run on the stage and get chased by a rhino. And well, yeah, can't say that yeah. every day. No, it's fun well, working with people that you've worked with before. Yeah. You know, and that you can get along with well. Mm -hmm. and it's funny though because he went from the last musical we were in together, the play, he was my son and now he's my husband, so that's kind of weird. Time yep. marches on. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. We want to talk about change. these strange relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Only at NAC would that be. <laughs> 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 Anything else that any of you folks want to tell me here? She no. is actually the president. Drama club? Yeah. Drama club, yeah. The president, and look, at, she's so humble, huh? The president uh, yeah. of the drama club. <laughs> yeah. And, and you got eaten by her. I eaten know. By I just kind of yell at all the kids, so <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right, how many under you, how many people in drama club? Oh, a lot. Like, at least 50. No, I, I want to yeah, say we have 62 kids. kids this year in drama club, which is pretty big because we used to just do high school for the plays and musicals, but last year we opened it up to the whole like middle school and high school, mm -hmm. so we have a lot more kids now. We opened yeah. it up two years ago, didn't we? Because I was in Alice, and I exactly. was in seventh grade. Yeah, I remember, I remember little kids. And two years ago. <laughs> All right, whatever. Because <laughs> I do remember being back in uh, middle school when it, or being back in elementary when I heard that this drama club was only for high schoolers. Yeah. yeah. So. Then we changed it because like a lot of the high schoolers weren't really as interested in uh -huh. doing the musical, so we didn't have enough people yeah, to do a lo enough, like big we stuff. Get enough guys, especially because so you know. Then we opened it to everyone, and now we have a lot of kids. Yeah, it's strange. I just did a play, at, senior play at Shazy uh, a couple days ago, and usually it's girls playing guys parts because they don't have enough guys. But yeah, they had more guys than girls. That's oh, that's right. crazy! You yeah, you never know. Yeah. If, if we had that here, that'd be amazing. <laughs> exactly. There's not a lot of guys here that would be willing to kind of put themselves into this kind of club. They, they'll they put themselves in sports or they'll put themselves in FFA and they just don't really, they're not really into this kind of thing. That's why you date out of drama club kids. <laughs> I think we have a pretty good group here. Yeah. I feel like every year when the seniors graduate, we'll have another year batch of new kids coming in. So it just it's just a big cycle every single year. Yep. Keep rotating. Yep. All right. Thank you very much, folks. You're All right. welcome. And watch out for rhinos. <laughs> We've interviewed 87 people yet, and we're only halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> Your name? Uh, uh, Delbert Hart. Delbert Hart. And what grade? Uh, junior. I'm 11th grade. 11th grade. All right. See, the questions are quite easy, huh? They are. All right. They're going to get tougher when I come back. So, we're not off the hook yet. Your name? Cooper Danforth. And what grade? 11th grade junior. 11th grade junior. Are there 11th, any 11th grade sophomores here? I don't know. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you an 11th grade sophomore? Or no, I'm a senior. You're a senior. 12th grade senior, probably, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Mackenzie Downer. Mackenzie Downer. All right. I had a great grandmother with the Downs, but not a Downer. Uh, <laughs> and your name? Kelly McKinney. And, and I'm a junior. A junior. Uh, 11th grade junior. Yep. <laughs> uh, you got to say right, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and? Rachel Eager, and I'm a senior. 12th grade senior. Yes. All right. All right, so and so, be ending up at that end now. What, what have you done in the past? Uh, high School Musical, Night at the Wax Museum, and I did makeup and hair for Alice at Wonderland. Alice at Wonderland. What are you doing this time? We're, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I just can't brain. It's Monday. <laughs> I'm the centipede. A centipede. In, yeah. 
Do you have a hundred legs, or what do you? you know? <laughs> well, I like to think that, but somebody, on the other hand, likes <laughs> facts more than that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so are you just a one-person centipede, or? Yeah. Just okay, because the rhino is two people. Mm -hmm. Only Pam, she can she can wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, well, that's it. Just a centipede. Are you out there very much then? Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> All right, we'll have to let her go by. Come on, come on through, Pam Boris here. Save my back. There we go. Look at, all these good Look at that. She, she's leaving. She backed up and she's leaving. You want you don't have Pam Boris to kick around anymore. She's gone, on her way out here in this. March 11th. So when's this music? It's not a music. When's this, when's this play? Uh, the... I don't know. 29th, 30th, 31st. See, I told you a tough question. You get tougher. No. It's not on our show. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Sometime in the future. Last weekend of March. 29th, 29th 30th, 30th, 31st. There yeah. we go. 7, 7, and 1. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So what's your experience? Uh, I was a supporting character in last year's play, Night at the Wax Museum, and then this is my second year, so that's all I've really done. All right. So what's the supporting player? Did you have a name? Did you have to just, uh, just hold somebody up, or what's the supporting player? I, I was, like, not a main character, but I had a, a decent amount of roles. Did you have a name in it? Yeah, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be here on the 29th, 30th, and 31st? Remember yes. that. Right? Yep, remember yes. That? Okay. <laughs> All right, so look it up on the internet. I'm sure there's, she's got a site there that will tell you what, what she was in last year's play. Sure, yeah, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and this year you are? I'm the ladybug, or the ladybird in the British terms. <laughs> the ladybird. Mm hmm yeah. As an aristocrat or what? What's the lady bird? Uh, she she's likes fashion uh -huh. and she's just a ladybug that likes clothes. <laughs> a ladybug. Yeah. Is it a talking ladybug? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ladybug would talk. <laughs> and a giant peach and a rhinoceros. That... <laughs> this isn't a real true to life story, is it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kind of a fantasy land. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what uh, what have you done before? I've done Cafe Murder, Alice at Wonderland, um, Night at the Wax Museum, and now James and the Giant Peach. Uh, who are you in James and the Giant Peach? I'm Miss Spider. A spider. Are there just more than one spider? Or there... Well, I'm Miss Spider, so I'm Miss like spider. the only spider, yeah. Oh. Are you a bad spider? I don't like spiders. You know. Don't take this just, personal. Just a little sassy. Sassy spider. So you have lines too then? Yeah. yeah. Do you eat centipedes? No. No? No. <laughs> I heard they're quite tasty. We we just like to uh, get into some arguments. With who? Oh, definitely centipede. Centipede? No. Yeah. Oh, careful, she might bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh, so you uh -huh. argue. Yeah, she likes to poke fun at me because like she has more legs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> people with a hundred legs are just so hard to live with. Eight isn't eight good eight. enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could be an octopus because you have eight legs, but you're a spider. Yep. Uh, and you? Um, I did Alice at Wonderland, Night at the Black Museum, and Cafe Murder. And this time you are? I am the earthworm. The earthworm. Mm-hmm. You get to go... Wiggle around on the ground, or how, what does an earthworm do? Uh, I just walk, but... A walking earthworm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like to keep it realistic. <laughs> so do you have a long costume? Do you know what your costume is going to look like? Or? It, it's not really that long. It's all brown, though. Brown? Uh, yeah. You just hope that nobody wants to go fishing. Uh, yeah, honestly. <laughs> 9, 30, 30 first, yeah. You, might, you might just disappear, you know? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if he doesn't show up. Yeah, you know, he's gone fishing. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Uh, I, I've done Cafe Murder in the past, along with Alice at Wonderland, uh, Night at the Wax Museum, and High School Musical. And this time, I'm the Old Green Grasshopper. Old and Green Grasshopper. Yes, yeah, very old. Uh, <laughs> and I actually, I end up playing clarinet a lot of it in the first half. Um, a clarinet playing grasshopper? Or? Yes, it's very. It's <laughs> again. We like to keep it realistic. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I love listening mm -hmm. to 
grasshoppers chirping and playing the clarinet. <laughs> yeah, that's what inspired me in the first place, you know. <laughs> you don't get to chirp, you have to play the clarinet. Yeah. So you, I assume you play clarinet in the, in the band? or? Yes, I, I play clarinet in the band. Okay. Um, quite decently, I think. Quite decently. Yeah. When's, when's the next concert, anyway? Our next concert's going to be in May, around voting, around the voting time oh, for us. Oh, voting time, yeah. Mm -hmm. get, get those people here to vote, right? Yep, and then they get to, then they get to listen to us play. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you want to make them vote before they listen to you, right? Mm, I think it's usually, <laughs> yeah, it's before. So, <laughs> so they won't change their, but too late to change their vote. Yeah, oh, <laughs> they need to be allowed vote changes. <laughs> Anything else I should ask you folks? No. No, no, no. Okay, we're all good. No, thank you. All right, thank you. See you on the 29th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Remember that. <laughs> no, do the last two. Last two. The last two. We have been informed that these are the last two, and I was told they saved the best for last. Is that true? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, do you think so? Maybe. Maybe. The time will tell here. What's your name? Isabel. You gotta speak up, Elizabeth. Use your outdoor Isabel. voice. Isabel. Isabel. Okay. Isabel who? Wellen. All right. And? Abigail Wellen. Are you guys related at all? Yes. We're twins. They're twins? But non-identical. Paternal, what do they call that? Paternal twins? Or? You're not identical, are you? I hope, I hope you're not identical because like... <laughs> all right. You've been twins all your life? How great are you doing? Is it a big ball? No, it's no. a little hacky sack. Uh oh. That's hard to catch. You drop it and just go back up over the tree. Are you a good catcher? She's not. She's not? No. Yeah, okay. Are you a good catcher? Yes. Are you a good thrower? No. So she's going to throw the ball and you're going to catch it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so what, have you done these before? Um, no. No? So who said it first? Who said, let's do that? Me. You did? You went along with her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you do it again? Yes. And again? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, at least one more again. Whether it's again and again, time will tell. Uh, do you know when it is, when the play is? Monday? It's Monday, Monday. Saturday, and Sunday. I Friday, think. Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, I don't think. 29th, 30th, and 31st. The last three days of March. And you know what comes after March 31st? April 31st. <laughs> no. Nope. My mom April 1st. April 1st. April Fool's oh, Day. I meant that. Oh my God. She, uh, I meant April was, 1st. That was an April Fool's joke. She, right? And she fell for it. You gave her an April Fool's joke and she, she bit. She, yeah. No, it's not March 32nd either. It's April 1st. But you can tell her it's March 32nd, then, then you say, April Fool. <laughs> okay, so you got to have a costume or what are you going to wear? Um, just like a normal outfit, Brown like black. a normal person would wear. A normal person. Which I am not. <laughs> a normal person in a strange world. <laughs> okay, um, is there a, is this supposed to be happening right now in 2019 or has this happened uh, 50 years ago? Do you know that? Any idea when this happened? Mm -hmm. No? Do you have any idea? No? No. no? I should have maybe asked, uh, have you seen the movie? Um, no. Have you seen the movie? Have you read the book? No. No? Do you intend to see the movie or read the book? I might read the book. After you've done it and you said, oh. I'll read the movie. I'll watch the movie. <laughs> Go watch the movie. That's my answer too. I, I watch movies. <laughs> Anything else I should ask you, Waylands? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> no? All right. There's no room for any whales, but the, no Waylands either. Just, uh, 
Okay. Uh, okay. Anything else, guys? I should ask you. If not, no. Well, don't think. Don't wait. Come back ten minutes, and I'll be gone. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. So thank you very much. I'm going to get a finish with a big shot of the big peach, James and the Joint Peach, right here at Northern Adirondack, March 29th, 30th, and 31st. It's uh, seven o'clock, seven o'clock, and one o'clock. So. Tell all your friends about it. It's going to be a fun time. A lot of students involved. A lot of students put a lot of work into the sets and everything else. So uh, try to be here. And thanks for watching.